Impersonation of Stuart House Racing right now. <laughs> Bring it home, Patsy. <laughs> Stop cheating. Let's get into this, man. Hey, hey, folks. Here's a special edition of No Onions, No Tomatoes, the Harvick episode. The cheating Harvick episode. Woo! NASCAR right. dropped a hammer. So every so everything was great, right? Yes, won the race. Kevin Harvick wins wins Vegas. Two in a row. Dominate. Yes, I'm happy Harvick. <laughs> and then um, bum bum bum. Uh, exactly. We should have that music. So <laughs> next thing you know, social media is a buzz because of something that people discovered that was wrong with the Harvick's car, the rear window. Okay, so the rear rear windows bowing in, bowing down. So and that could be an advantage because it's the downforce gives the car easy handling in the turns. A absolutely. So um, what what happens then is that um, a lot a lot of people at home or either at the track are listening to the scanners. So and what the scanners are uh, uh, it, is a uh, it's just your headphones or if you're just listening to it on your TV and you can listen to the communication live of the driver. And the crew chief, as well as as well as the Spot, spotter, yeah. um, for each team, and this is live time. It, it, it's almost akin to a, a quarterback and a coach. You listening to their communication and their strategy throughout the entire football game. That's this is allowed in NASCAR. So fans are at home listening to this. Yes. And and um, it was uh, it was Chase, Chase Elliott. Elliott. Chase Elliott. Um, and his crew chief, Alan Gustafson, they noticed that something was amiss or yes. a foul. On the four car with with that with that window bowing in, and the crew chief told Chase to take a look at it out there on the track. Yes, that's what he saw, and, and he and he verified it. So then what? And so then what happens is that if you're sitting at home, you you know you know you hit the old DVR back, or you hit the pause, and you go, "Oh man, look, that thing is bowed in." And then it's just all. I mean, it just goes viral, right? Right. So now NASCAR. <laughs> I was almost kind of forced to do something about this. Because, well, we have to investigate. Yeah, exactly. And then every uh, every winning car ends up going back to the research and development center and is inspected post race, right? right. And so that happened, and Ooh. NASCAR deemed the car failed. Yes, it's it post race inspection. Failed post race inspection because the bracket broke, which the crew, which the crew chief um, on XM Radio admitted that the back bracket broke. That's right. NASCAR's rule is that, hey, you can do whatever you want to that bracket, but if it fails and, it, and, it, and you lose the integrity of that, of that window and it moves, mm -hmm. then you're going to be it's penalized. And they, and they hit them with a L1, and they, that's a big penalty. Run down the penalties. Whew, what are, happened to Harvick? They are docked 20 driver points. Whoa, where's my sledgehammer? What 20 else? 20 owner points. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They have seven playoff points taken away. Oh, man, make that a triple. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> the car chief is suspended two races, <laughs> and the crew chief is fined fifty thousand dollars. Fifty large for Rodney Childers. And Ooh. so those points, Ooh. 20, Ooh. 20 driver points and seven playoff points. The driver points gets him into the uh, chase, mm -hmm. which he's already in because he has the win in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But these seven playoff points could make a big deal. Do you have anything that can we use a high tech illustrator? I I have a high tech telestrator, tell not, not an illustrator. That's true. So hey, I've, I've been working on this, folks. So hold on, pair pair with me here. High tech. Okay, so let's put show this the, in between. Show, so them so show what the difference people. makes. All right, so check this out, right? So here's here's your standings, right? These are the current point standings. Well, first place to fifth place, right? So we got we got Harvick here. In third place, you see he has 115 points, right? That, but he's minus 20, so he actually should have 135 points and be in first place. That's the difference between first and third. That's not that big of a deal because he's locked into the chase regardless. Here's where the problem is. Right here, these are the playoff points. Playoff points are points that you earn um, if you win a stage or you win the race. These points right here, they carry throughout the playoffs. So in each round of the playoffs, if the playoffs were to start today, Kevin Harvick would have 4,006 points, right? But you see he's minus 7. He would have 13, 13 points. That minus 7, you, you, probably, you probably look at me and say, Jed, 
what's the big deal? It's only seven points. Um, what was the difference between uh, between making the, the final four last year? It was one, one point. point. So that seven, those seven playoff points are huge. He keeps the win in theory, but it really it, it really doesn't matter because he lost everything that he was gained that by was winning. gained by winning the race. So Kevin Harvick, ugh, yeah. good, good luck to you. And then and and then so let hold on. Oh no, it's a random hot take. Hot take horn. Hot take horn. All right, so All right. Kevin Harvick yeah. is is in a press conference. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you're gonna do you're gonna do that? Okay. Yeah. He's like, but it was him. <laughs> and so Kevin Harvick is he he blamed the penalty actually on social media. He basically said that hey, if there were no pitchers out there, we wouldn't have been fined. Well, here's the, here's the difference, though, Kevin. Your competition told on you. Alan Gustafson and Chase Elliott, they're the ones who told on you that alerted everybody to look at this. And don't you think Alan Gustafson was going to say something to NASCAR after that race? Or actually, he, additionally, he just wanted to get it on record, right? So NASCAR, because NASCAR is listening to these scanners as well. Well, and the car has to go back to research and development to get checked. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that they wouldn't have found that Exactly. So I thought I, I didn't think he handled it particularly yeah. well. What we're going to see now is if is if Stuart Haas Racing is going to appeal this. They have not as yet, but I don't think they're going to appeal this. I don't think they should. I it, mean, it, you have two wins. Let's put this. Let's start draw it out. Let's put it behind you and move on. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's let's move on. And you know. And actually, I think that's all I got to say about that. Let Let's move on. Let's move on. But, okay. Uh -oh. I would dance with you right now, baby, but... We'll tell on you. We'll tell on you. No onions, no tomatoes. See ya.